everyone so I'm finally doing my project polish finale which ended December I just haven't updated you guys on it um because I got sick holidays got in the way and now I have a bunch of like end of the year videos that I'm doing in January which is honestly quite fine because I feel like January is kind of like for me January has always been like the month that I recap slash get ready for the year, like the upcoming year, so it's kind of like that little gray area month, which I guess is still technically a part of the year, but it's what I prepare for the rest of the year, so it's fine that I'm just ending a bunch of projects in January, um, it all ended in December, I'm just finally updating you guys again in January, so this is my project polish video, and it's going to be very short and very sweet, and I wanted to record this video before I do my year-long empties, because I do include nail polishes, at least in these year-long empties, not necessarily in like the amount, but in the products itself, so I have to record this video first. Um, so I'm just going to quickly say I did not work on any of my polishes except for two of them to try to finish them off, and I did mention that in my last update, which was at the end of November before... December started and so I'm just going to show you where I finished off with the remaining nail polishes I had. So this is Revlon's Optimistic. When I put it into the project pan it was up to there and now it is down to here. Um, it was basically almost brand new to the top, only used a couple of times and I've only used it once or twice which is okay because this is more of a bright summer color anyways so that is fine. It's not what I'm wearing on my nails though so it might be a little similar but not quite. This is my Essie nail polish in stitch by stitch. It did explode. I did um, say that in last time so I did lose a good chunk of nail polish from, from the silver line to the black line is how much polish I lost. Um, I did use it a couple more times so it is down to here. Down to here where my nail is. So I didn't quite finish it up. It only has, I want to say it might have like four uses left so it might be something I work on in 2019 to finally finish it up but when I did introduce this into this project pan it was all the way up here so I have used quite a bit um except you know I did lose a big chunk of it when this polish exploded which I don't know why my polish is due it's not I don't know if it's like if it gets too hot and it explodes or I'm not sure because I keep them all in a little basket and even if like they're right side up they still manage to explode and I still like put the lid on tight but it still manages to seep out. It just happens randomly with random polishes. I don't understand the concept behind that so if you know please tell me um, a way to prevent that because I really just don't know. So there is that one. This one has been a struggle all year long if you've been following along. This is the Sally Hansen Hard As Nails in Blue Blood. I did get quite a bit of progress on it. For being a polish, I was very hesitant to use. Um, it was practically all the way to the top. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this black line. And now it is right there. You can see how much progress I've used. And for being a nail polish, I wasn't the biggest fan of. This is great progress. I'm really happy with the way that turned out. Could have used it a couple more times, but I was really focusing on the two nail polishes in December to finish it up. Um, it is a matte nail polish. Um, I kind of like keeping it matte because I feel like it looks cooler matte than shiny. So... That is that one. This one is the nail polish that never seems to end. It is by Urban Outfitters and it is in the color Powder Puff. It is down to this line still again. I did not use it. It was up to here when I put it in my project pan. I've had this since my senior year of high school, four years. I've used this a ton and there's just a lot, a lot of nail polish in this, um, in this bottom, which is fine because it is a fun color. I'm gonna, I love using this in the summer, in the spring. I love using it all the time. It's just a very nice, pretty color. I'm really, really attracted to um, nail polish shades like are blue and like powder blue and like sky blue and um, serenity blue. Those are all my favorite types of shades to wear. So I don't have any problem to keep using that one. Um, last nail polish I have, I've repurchased this twice. It is 
again another Sally Hansen hard as nails and this is in the color lacy lilac it's a color I believe they still have the line isn't actually up to here it's a little bit above that just a tiny bit but I have used um, I'd, I'd say I have used about a third of the bottle of the nail polish as you can see I've put this in this project when it's to the top another color I really liked I only used to like using this on my nails I didn't like it on my toes but then something in the summer happened maybe it's like when I'm tan I really like wearing this on my toes because it's kind of like a white but it's not stark um, so I really enjoyed on this on my toes when I was tan this year um, so that's pretty cool um, I can't wait to get tan this summer and use it again but um, if I do use it again great spring color for my nails so, the two polishes that I did finish that you should know um, is the Sinful Colors Nail Polish in Ruby Ruby. Now, it does look like there's the tiniest, like, I can see through the bottle. It's just very opaque. There is the teeniest, tiniest, not enough for full application left on the very bottom. Um, all the lines are kind of rubbing off, so I'm not sure if this is when exactly when I put it in my project polish and it is kind of a fat nail polish but it was such a nice blue tone red those are my only like blue tone reds are my favorite to use I just feel like I don't know like it must be like a figment of my imagination but every time I wear a blue tone red on my nails I kind of feel like it blurs out the imperfections on like either my hands or my toes like it's really weird I feel like it just brightens up my skin tone in like a blurring nice way um I don't, I think I have one more blue tone red nail polish to keep me through 2019 since I am on a no buy until December 1st. Um, so if I run out of it, so if I run out of that other one, I wouldn't be able to repurchase it till December 1st. But um, at least I have another blue tone red because I do enjoy using blue tone reds throughout the year. So at least I have one more to keep me, um, to keep me over. So I'm really glad I used, I used another nail polish up. Yay! So exciting. Who can say, like, I don't know, unless you do these projects, it's really hard to say. I used up an entire nail polish. Like, I have repurchased nail polish bottles that I have happened to use up, but again, it took me a while. And then the other nail polish I used up, which is a little bit sad for me, um, is the L'Oreal Nail Polish in Mass Affair. This was a beautiful duochrome nail polish. When I put it in my project, it was up to here, and as you can see, like, there's nothing left in the bottom, like that is the whole of like the nail polish um there's nothing left i used quite a bit of this uh, i just loved this nail polish so much it was so pretty i'm really sad it's gone i would have repurchased it if it was my no buy year i think they said that um it was still available like all that's left is like every time i pull it out it's just like that red gooeyness but it's it's done it's done so and i'm sad that it's gone but happy that i enjoyed it and used another nail polish up but uh, this is just such a pretty color so sad that it's gone and joyful beauty on here um her name is joyce she was doing a project polish and she was also panning um that nail polish in her project polish which was really cool to be like oh my god i have the same one and we're both panning it and that was an exciting experience let me just turn around because i have like i know i'm turning around a lot and i apologize so i have a little sticky note with how many polishes i used up this year so in 2018 i used up a total of five nail polishes which is amazing considering the, again like it's not a normal thing to go through nail polish unless like you hone in on them um so i'm very proud of it. i was very proud i was able to move five out um just because i have quite a bit of nail polish and i've had to decolor a couple of them just because they are completely dried out or i can't even open the bottle anymore because it exploded so besides the declutter ones that you will see spread out throughout my videos um whether it's the declutter one or my empties one um in the project polish i have moved out five total which is amazing so so amazing um won't be able to replace any of them, but that's okay because I have quite enough to put me over. Um, I do want to say I'm not going to start a project polish right away. As you can see, I'm wearing a different purple. It's a fun color. I love this color. I kind of miss using my other nail polishes, so I'm going to give myself some time to play with all my other nail polishes that have been neglected because I've been working on my project polishes. But sometime in 2019, I will start another project palette 
polish and we'll just um we'll just go from there but for right now I just want to enjoy everything that I have and have fun and switch up the colors because I haven't been able to do that so much in 2018 so yeah I hope you guys are very successful in your project polish um, let me know if you were able to finish up any polishes in the year of 2018 and that you're moving out polishes because we should all get our money's worth out of the things that we buy and I will see you guys all on my next one